A start button behavior is basically a very specific behavior that your dog offers to let you know that they're ready for you to do a uh, particular procedure. Um, and so the behavior that I'm going to demonstrate for you today is a chin rest behavior. And that's actually what I previewed in the picture that I sent. This is actually something new for Piper that we've been working on. Um, it's a, it's a uh, new behavior for her that um, we've been conditioning. I had uh, previously done a chin rest on my leg, um, but it was kind of hard for me to get to her front paws when her head was right here and she was laying down. Um, so I'm going to a hand rest chin behavior where she voluntarily puts her chin on my hand. Um, and what I would like to do is as we move forward with this behavior is have her resting her chin on my hand be her way of telling me that it's okay for me to do some handling. So I might um, be reaching down and uh, touching a paw or examining a paw or doing something like that. Now the key to the start button behavior is Piper puts her uh, chin on my hand. I start doing my um, examination. If at any point her head comes off my hand, um, that is her signal that she wants me to stop doing what I'm doing. She's, she's uncomfortable, she needs a break, um, we move too fast, or she, she has just said, nope, I need to take a break, let's try it again in a minute. So that is a start and stop button. Um, and so again, the beauty of that is that it's giving your dog a choice and it makes it really clear if your dog is comfortable with what you're doing or if they're not comfortable with what you're doing. Um, and so let me go ahead and do a couple of that. So um, you might see that I have to do a few things to get her to put her uh, chin on my hand. Like I said, this is a new behavior, so she's still learning. Okay, so I'm going to present my hand. Yes, look at you, star pupil. All right, one more time. Yes, so this time she's also, if you notice, she's presenting her paw to me. She likes to do that, too. She likes her paw presentation to be part of any uh, target. So there she did more of a target. Uh, I'm going to give her one more try, and if not, yes, I would have helped her out, making it easier. Um, so just to show you how I actually started teaching her this behavior, um, this is a Hannah Brannigan technique. I lifted her nose up, and then I brought it down using a food lure. So I have a treat in my hand. Her nose is following my hand. I put my chin underneath. As her head comes down, it automatically settles into my hand. Um, so this was the very first step in teaching her to do the chin rest. Yes, beautiful. Um, as time went on, um, I would start to remove the, the food lure. I might have my hand out here. Um, if she, and actually, let me, I want to present my hand first so that that becomes the new cue. So if I'm doing this at the same time, all she's paying attention to is this, which is what she knew. But if I present my hand first, that's the new cue, and it begins to predict the one that she already knows. So one more time. The next step would be present hand. Oh, she, she beat me to it. And then do the previous cue of using the food lure to get her chin on my hand. Now, uh, we haven't gotten past this because like I said, this is a new thing. Um, what my next step would be, a little bit more, maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Yes, thank you. Um, my next step would be starting to um, add duration to this behavior. So right now, she's maybe holding around half a second to a second long. I would want to get, oh, beautiful, some duration in here before I started adding on. 